Hey folks, Schneider here. So this is the last video that Alicia and I did for what I would say is cancer the cure. It's all about being in the driver's seat and I think it's an important video. I'm giving it to you in its entirety. So you'll see the playful nature of myself and my smile. And when I did the little switching today, all I did was switch uh, the shot from her close-up to my close-up. And it, uh, it made me smile so big because it's like she's back. And anytime I feel like she's back, and I know she's here. She's right by my side. She's right here. Say hey. She's right here. But anything that makes me realize what an amazing, wonderful, smart, intelligent, funny, delightful person my beautiful bride is, that makes me happy. So I hope you enjoy this. Listen to it. It's important. There's a lot of very, very important information in between the relationship that you can use, especially if you are going through um, a tough time with cancer. All right. Now, we did finish the book. The book is in the driver's seat, Redefining Victory. That will be available in a while. It's going to be a while, but um, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, I think you're going to see the love in every frame. Enjoy. I want, is it good? I don't remember if Popeye's coleslaw it's is good. mediocre for yeah, me. It's too, it's too sweet. sweet, right? Yeah, too sweet. Okay. So then, large of each, large beans, large dirty rice, biscuits and a bucket. Okay. I like wings. I like breasts. He's a breastesist. So just get white meat for us. Get an assortment for the guys in the back okay. and that'd be a good snack for them. And you have the card? They'll love it. Okay. Great. I need to put something on my lips. What? I'm like what? You first. Okay. Come on. Meat, you want it? Biscuits, beans, and dirty rice, right? Yeah. I need, can you come reach over here? I need the razor. What are you doing with the razor? Exactly. I, was, I almost picked that up, so I'm glad I didn't. I My razor? Saw, I saw it there, and I was going to pick it up. So can you see me shaving in the, what? In the camera? You guys know that you could shaving not where? like it like this, because you could flip it around to where it shows you. No, no, this is okay. What are you doing? I'm going to pull it up then. We're rolling, actually. I can't see all that, though. I'm going to curse a bunch, so that way you have to take this out. Y'all are too close. I can, this one's zoomed in too far. Okay. I need, I got Well, this. that one, this is the one that I'm in over here. Oh, it's only supposed to be Alicia in this one? Pretty much. You can do this. I'm going to be up, so can you see me now? Mm -hmm. And then can you can see you, me if I okay. do this? Which one are you on over there? The There's tight, loose. Oh, I can see. Yeah, hit the, hit the, uh, I see her in the mirror. Hit the second one. You know how to zoom out a little bit? this one yeah zoom out a little bit whoa no that's too wide there you go right there yep turn it she had a close-up she just took away your close-up do you want to be close-up or do you want to be you want it to be able to well i didn't know she was gonna like do her toes and all that stuff i'm not doing my toes what are you doing what are you talking are about? there little red lights on over there i see the red light in that one how about this one they're both recording okay She's laying right behind me. Why, why are you shaving in the bed? Well, because I can. Yeah, but you're putting little hairs on the, in the bed. It's on your side, but you're just putting little hairs in the bed. No, 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 I'm putting it on top of that. Your right hand is blocking your shot. No. Can you shave left-handed? Well, yeah. You're supposed to ask me about this razor. Why am I What's trying a, what, to dry shave? 
why are you, why, how come you're not, number one, how come you're not doing this in the tub and why are you dry shaving? That can't be good for you. So, you hear this little buzzer? No, oh, yeah. It's an electric razor. It's not an electric razor. No, it's it a, is. It's a, it's a bought, vibrating razor. No, no, no. I bought Robert Evans one of these in 2004 so that we could shave dry if we needed to. So, like, you could do wet and then go back over it with dry. I don't really have any hair. I just did a wet shave with the same razor and then I dry shave it. But normally I dry shave it in the bedroom, I mean, in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, because now you got little hairs all in the But that's not much because I did a good job Still, at wet shaving. Don't go so fast, that's the issue. And this is for this. So what? Pull it tight and go up. Don't go all the way up into my I go oh, underneath, side, okay. it goes underneath. But it's a great dry shaver to finish. To finish? Okay. But it's vibrating, so it doesn't, I know. it doesn't tear your skin up. Okay? Great. So I'm gonna go back to my phone and I am gonna have a conversation with you about this because this is something that's troubling me. So I have been, I've not been to Bed Bath & Beyond. I mean, not literally. Woof. Your stomach is growling. I'm hungry. Did we order chicken? We did. Okay. I'm just, I'm hangry. Yeah, and, and when I'm hangry, I'm supposed to be all like Buddha. When you're hangry, it's justifiable. Why is that? No, I'm hangry. Okay, so let's go back to another thing that I was researching. Besides this doggone G and J thing. Come on, stomach. I've been trying to go and try. I've even we no, were no, no, looking no, we're for the citricate it. stuff. It just doesn't work. It's, you know that they're pulling off everything off the shelves that are uh, things that are good. That actually work. Yeah. That work. They are now removing them. Hold on, I'm looking for S1 nerve root. That's what I'm looking for. What? Yeah. So let's what talk about it? where I'm at right now. Okay. So we just had surgery, right? Yep. Yesterday. Examination of the oh, I won't do that with the fans. I just want images so you can see what's going on. That's all video. There's an image. Okay. So, remember I told you that there's something happening, like in my in my spine. Okay. And ah, uh, dog it. This is for the cancer thing, because this is definitely when you have to be in the driver's seat of your life. I'm not going to get to that right now. We'll get to that later. So, okay. you know, we talk about driver's seat. We talk about pulling people in. The doctor that I had the urology stent put in, we placed him in the driver's seat <coughs> for the surgery and everything else that's going on with urology for me. So we had a successful surgery yesterday and... He spoke, the doctor spoke with John, explained everything, which was great. And your dad. And dad, which are my two advocates. And uh, I forgot I have reading glasses on. I don't need reading glasses for this. Sorry. This is me on meds. This is it. Ooh, me on meds. That's a good right? That's a, a good YouTube. sequence. Me on meds. Me on meds. <laughs> which I don't like to be floaty and okay. not coherent. Where were you? Anyway, glasses off. So the advocates got to hear from the doctor directly. I didn't, which is why it's important to have an advocate. I got my affirmation, though, that my appointment was next January. 
and my doctor told me that he was going to, if it was successful, I, he would see me again in January. If it wasn't, we were going to go back and redo something and take this out. So obviously it was successful. It worked well. I am not in that pain anymore. When I know I'm not in that pain anymore, I have to go to the bathroom immediately. I can't wait. In fact, I am drinking cranberry juice that's tart. That's so a good cleanser, right? Doesn't have, I'm drinking the tart kind. So it does make my face go. Um, How is that again? How's it go? It's tart. No, no, no. I have to, not being selfish. I have to drink this and then go pee again. Okay, so I have the and amount. We're telling everybody this. Yeah. If you have to do something from that's part of outside of your regiment for cancer, but it is something that is involved in the cancer world, hell yeah, I want you to know. I want you to know that this doesn't have sugar in it. Okay? Get that one. So this is not ocean spray cran apple juice. Nope. No. This okay. is at the health food store. That makes type you go. That makes you make that weird face and make it until you're done. I started, I think, at like there. My goal is to drink it all down and then I go to the bathroom. Drink it all gone. Whatever. Gone down. Doesn't matter. Just long as it's taken care of. And don't let anyone else drink it. Anyway, so we have that going. What on. is this visual aid here? What's this picture? So for? I feel, and I felt this before we went in, that I need to go back to Dr. And the reason okay. why is that S. Whoop. How do I get it to go you straight? Have to take a picture of it and then enlarge it. So I feel S, S1, L5, that's there. L5 still has damage in it. And the reason why I say that, remember I was making that crazy face mm -hmm. that go across my body and into like my legs? Like this here, look. Yes. That one? It's like someone taking a shocker to you. Right. I still have it, and I have it more. So that means the pressure's been relieved from the bladder. Uh -huh. But the body still has something going on in the spine. Well, you know it's healing, though, too. Okay, so he said two weeks. Yes, right. but right. you right. went and you did that, that thing, which I think normally would be a great thing to do. Right. So you said when you did that, you said that you felt that you had damaged it all over again. Yep. But and that your two weeks would start again there. Watch your microphone. Okay, well, then that definitely means that I can't go to... Stop messing with the microphone. I'm sorry. Then it means I can't definitely, cannot go to Costa Rica or any place like that. I'm not going to go on a trip where I'm feeling enormous pain. And that's where I'm at today. That's where you are today, but that's nine days away. Right. So what I would do, I would reserve the right to get better, as many people do. Which is why I said two weeks, which is the 20th. It's okay. not for the 20th for the other thing. It's the 20th from when the actual surgery happened. Right. So we go to that date, and then we have a conversation with our driver, because he is the driver's seat for anything in the spine. <coughs> right. Anything where the inflammation is, he's the driver. So... If I'm having severe pain in S1 and S5 still, and I feel that the pain is going down in the bladder, and this is amping up. The pain up. is going down in the bladder. Okay. Not the pain is not going down into the bladder. The no. pain in the bladder it's is going, diminishing. Yes, diminishing. Okay. That's a good word. Words are important. Yes, I agree. So that pain feels like it's diminishing. However, the strong shooting pain is still there, and it feels like more. Well, have you talked to him about that yet? Well, that's why we're having this conversation right here. Okay. So when would you like to have that conversation with Dr. Uh, what is today? Um, Today's Friday. I would like to have that conversation with him on Monday. 
That's his hardest work day. So do you want to try and do it on Sunday? Um, okay. Why do you want to do Monday? Because I want to give you enough time to heal. You had surgery yesterday. And you have a tendency because of your past to have surgery on Tuesday and wonder why you're not I agree jumping with the high hurdles on Wednesday. I agree. Uh, I meant to ask her to get me. Uh, what are you doing? I meant to ask her to get me this. I'll Sorry. I'll grab that, whatever that is. I know, but I got it. Uh, you're sitting on your dog. No, she's okay. She's in the cave. <laughs> she's in the cave. I got her in the cave. Okay, that's my chapstick. No, I bought this for us to share. No, I bought that. That one? Mm-hmm. There's no okay. way we both bought vanilla chapstick. That's so weird because it's something I would buy for us to share. Well, maybe you're rubbing off on do it. Do you not want to share? I do. Okay, just double checking. That's where the cold sores. Remember I told you I had a fever? It's because of medication. A lot of shit came out. Which is great. It happened. I got it done. I didn't have to take a pill for it. So my body fought it very quickly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is nice. And it's just scabs now. So Give me that. I'm trying to get the good stuff on it. Here, let me do this. No, I don't. That way you don't get. The... What if your wrist has like cooties on it? Oh, my wrist doesn't. I just took a bath. Okay, can, can I have that, please? Yeah, but it helps your skin from getting that crepey. Are, you, are you protecting me from your cold sores? Or are you putting. Both. Lotion on your arms with a chapstick. Both. You use it on crepey stuff. Okay, too. so I want to uh, I want to I want to give you as much time to go back on that decision as possible. Because of the surgery. Mm hmm So then let's do the twentieth. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, huh. Sad. Right. So um, the 20th, we'll speak to him. Right. But then still, I know what he's going to, I believe I know what he's going to say is, see how you are on the, because once you start to heal, here's something that I think you need to take into consideration, is once you, once that stuff really starts to knit together, Right. That is a rapid thing. I think it takes a while for, for healing to really start. And you did do that machine that kind of did this with your back, which is my fault. I shouldn't have uh, advised you do that machine. So, <laughs> how's chapstick on your arm feel? Pretty good? It does, because it takes the creepiness away. Okay. Look, I'm always so, into extra beauty stuff. Okay. Okay, so I think you should, um, we should wait until... Sunday or and make later a decision. on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, well, but I, no, I think you should ask his advice. I mean, if you say he's in the driver's seat, which I agree that he is, um, there's no way we want to go on a vacation if you are feeling like that. But I can't you may go. wake up. You may wake up the, the uh, day right, before and go, Right, but we need go, to give oh. him a chance of understanding that there's something going on. I know, but then he's going to say, come down and I'll fix it. And you don't want to do that again. You, you have not given yourself a month. Well, he won't have time to fix it because I won't have time to recoup. That's where we are. No, 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 I understand that. Okay. So, so all betting horses are going to be on getting to the day of takeoff. But we need to warn him. Yeah and give him an update, and that'll happen on the 20th. Sure. You and I can talk about it on the 12th. Well, I texted Kim yesterday and said that you were going in and we're going to see how you feel over the weekend, you know, which makes sense. Right? Uh, sorry. Don't be sorry. It's okay. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. I don't know how to turn all that off. That's a picture. That's why. Okay, how do we get rid of it? Why do you want to Sorry. use this for something else? Um, you have some other plan? Save to photos. Boom. Well, I do have an idea okay. that I would like to follow through. All right. You need this for it? No, no not now. Okay. Okay, so got that. We, You're going to get ink, ink on the bed. I, I understand the razor. 
Nothing. Huh? What? What'd you say? <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> he does this all the time. Mm -hmm. You guys are seeing the real him. My neck is starting to hurt. Would you go back down? I thought you needed me up. No. So anyway, I have this idea. You mm. think, can you not, you can't stretch? See? What? Huh? I can, but I want to be in the shot. I know where the camera oh, is. Oh, the baby's the waking shot. up out of the cave. Oh, that's great. What do you want to talk about? So I want to do the show. What show? It's just you and I. Who would want to watch that? Trust. You will. Gracie. What, sh what is this show you want to do? Well, I'd like to just us talk about sub subject matters um, that are relevant, that are kind of funny and ironic, right. like today. You used to be able to go and get Mucinex DM off the counter. You used to be able to go get aspirin, which is getting harder and harder to find off the counter. There's a lot of things like Citricol that was a magnesium drink. Obviously, I'm having issues because the tummy and all the meds I'm on. I have meds for... Um, Memory? No, I'm not doing that. Anyway, I'm on a med right now for <laughs> nerve pain. I'm also on a med. I crack me up. You crack me up. Go ahead. See? R. R. Hmm. Now you see the real him. You said that already. I might repeat myself a few uh. times. So, I'm on a pain medicine for nerve, and I'm on a pain medicine for just straight out pain. Well, the nerve pain medicine slows the gut down, and then the other medicine also slows the gut down. So I'm trying to get movement in a place that, you know, your tummy, as I've said, is your second brain. And it is not responding. The brain is not responding as well. That's why I have a delayed reaction with things. And therefore, the tummy is not. So I'm buying all this stuff at like whatever, grocery store, the local pharmacy, wherever I normally shop. Could tractor be supply. Tractor supply. True. That's a true that one. Um, DMSO, tractor supply. Trust. And also, believe it or not, big Epsom salt. So the bougie stuff you can get at like Target and Walmart. However, you can buy the big supply stuff of Epsom salt at Tractor Supply. You can oh, feed and seed a uh, yeah any uh, of those kind of things. But you can also believe it. Believe it. You can also purchase it at um, Sam's for four dollars and fifty cents, where they charge you on the little bitty pound bag. I want to say they charge you like seven bucks or eight bucks, and if it's bougie enough, fifteen, because they put oh, like the oil want, yeah, yeah. and stuff in it, Big right? Deal. Big deal, right? And so what I've decided is that I'm getting the big buckets now, putting them in a big Ziploc, and putting my essential oils that I use, that are not traditional with what the bougie stuff is. So I'm re redesigning it so that I can use it and I'm only paying four dollars and fifty cents and then a little bit of what the oil is and then pushing that together and I have oils that are designed more for me so that I can deal with the inflammation that I have going on and that's another pill I'm taking is an inflammation pill gabapentin I prefer not to use the language of the stuff I'm using gabapentin see your pen is in my shot Thank you. I was doing a Robert Evans thing. It's very Robert Evans. Oh, yeah? Put that down. Okay, so, ah! Want to recap? Recap. Uh, driver's seat, we have a, uh, a surgeon. Well, first of all, ah! Many back surgeries this year because Alicia broke her back. 23. 25. 25, your hand's in my shot. 25 surgeries this year on her back. Now, the last surgery, uh, just before Dr. Benatti did it, he said, because of the MRI, I think the major source of your pain is your left kidney. He's not a kidney doctor. 
So he said, when I do this back surgery and the back pain is gone, your kidney is going to hurt like hell because we're going to unmask that pain. And it did. Yeah, it did. So then, and, and by the way, when you have kidney issues, I'm told by everybody who's had a kidney issue that kidney issues make you feel like your back is broken. Alicia had a kidney issue and her back was broken. Go figure. So now that she's had a bunch of the pressure released from her kidney, now she is aware, I think, of the pain of her back healing from the surgery. And I think that's going to be gone in five days. Which I'm down with waiting. Yeah, I really and I, do. And I do feel that we're on target for those things, but we need to be responsible to our other drivers, Dr. Bonatti. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, but we also need to believe in, we need to, need to trust his opinion about it too. I know, that's why we're talking about it now. Right. And we have a target date to re-talk about this again. Point being, it's complicated, okay? So it's not like, oh, this hurts, let me fix it, done. It's not, it's not how it is. Now, occasionally, I guess, that happens for some people, but... Our situation is that... It has not been like that. Correct, and we've been battling a cancer, a bladder, and a back issue. And there's a lot of moving parts. And there's a lot of trust. There's a lot of research that's been done. And I'm constantly looking on the phone, not because I want to, but I'm trying to map out a plan. And I want to communicate that plan with you guys. So you may not have a back break, but you might have a kidney and a cancer issue and how do you deal with that how in my mind that winds up uh, boiling down is let's say you're somebody who had um, colon cancer you beat colon cancer right you beat it you had clear PET scans all that was great now all of a sudden your lower back hurts again so oncologists are going to say well it's back maybe not maybe you have a kidney issue uh, Alicia had a hysterectomy how many years ago? 2010. Okay, 2010. And everyone, to, in, to include the urologist, believed that the reason she had a blockage in her uh, straw, in her urethra, urethra Franklin, the reason why she had the blockage in there was scar tissue because of the hysterectomy. Okay, so no one was yelling cancer in that regard, except the oncologist, of course. Your lower back hurts, that's what it is. So you can't take, I'm not poo-pooing on them. No, but that cancer. Pun intended. That Dr. Death has now moved hospitals. Yeah, they're that's gone. The fourth doctor that Which I've had. We should we'd talk about that at some point too. I'm of the belief now that, gonna say it, oncologists move around or they yes. are moved around so that patients who weren't supposed to make it this long right wind up having to start the process over with a new one that's another show it's well, another can we, story can we talk about that real quick i think well, it's, it's a great. whole other show we, we, we've started it but it's there, you could cut copy paste it doesn't take you that long the chicken's coming it's, it's not the chicken's coming i'm not dressing like this again for another conversation okay well then just go into it it'll okay. be a longer thing so another thing that I learned the other night when I got this letter in the mail oh. is that, hey, sweetheart, Hi, I love it that you got closer. Oh, thank you. My neck hurts. I can rub on it for you. Okay. So the thing that we got in the mail the other day was that our doctor left the hospital. Well, I thought to myself, fourth one. Yes, fourth. Go figure. I thought to myself, I was like, wow. That's a lot. I don't, thankfully, I don't, sorry. I played with the mic. You do. Um, anyway. Thankfully, I squirrel. don't. Squirrel. Right. Um, so, thankfully, I don't rely on the doctors. Remember, I rely on their information, compartmentalize it, and then I also rely on acute issues that I have going on. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about me. You are a cute baby, but not that kind of acute. Different de definition. It's different a spelling. cute and then acute. Two different words. Anyway, my thought process was 
Thankfully, I don't rely on these people. And then my empathetic side went, whoa. What about those people that completely let someone else live in the driver's seat all the time? Mm. And the people that I see that look like glowing green at the hospital, or they look like Auschwitz patients. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because they've given away everything. You see how we operate driver's seat. It's for acute things for that doctor not let him go and be can't be at the mercy of of your doctor's employment right can you imagine when your doctor goes away you're like ah my gosh my doctor went away right so your doctor leaves and then all of a sudden your house is back on fire and you don't have the energy to fight it and that's what's wrong is that you need to be in the driver's seat you need to slide over to the passenger seat and whoever you have as that doctor is a person that's going to be in the driver's seat only for an acute period of time. And then they're moved back out and you're back in control. And you're making the decisions about you know, yourself. I think you should, if you've ever been on a cruise, you have got people that uh, there are captains that will come in just to turn a ship. Yes. Captains that will come in to do the, uh, the tour of the iceberg. You go to the Alaskan thing. Yep. So don't ever give up. Uh, being the captain of your ship to being the driver but now occasionally you might want to have somebody back the horse trailer up okay so they come in and they do that because they have an area of expertise but then you get them out put them back in the passenger seat and you are back in the driver's seat because that oncologist as has happened now with us four times in four different no it's three different three different hospitals the oncologist is gone. We get a letter. It says, oh, you know, so-and-so is gone. Wait, the biggest thing, though, is... Okay. Go ahead. Let's, I think I could add to this. I hope so. They have three choices that they send you. What? Like three other oncologists? Yes. What, are you supposed to pick them up because yes. their name is cute? Right. Oh, God. Nothing about their history. Nothing about anything. So you really are doing that donkey with the tail. Oh, pin the tail on the donkey. Yeah, you're doing tail on the donkey. That's what you're doing. Great, great. Okay, so go back to you. I'm sorry. No, that was it. That was it. So you have got to stay in the driver's seat. Uh, Occasionally, you can let somebody turn the ship around. That's fine. But don't ever let them feel like they are the owner of the car because they're not. They are a passenger. They are a hitchhiker in your life, not the other way around. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay. Can we stop? Because I need to I I I know. We ordered fried chicken. And wait. Oh, you got to meet the puppy. You want to do it? No, you do it. I can't move. She doesn't want to get up. See, I'm like... This is not oh. the grandbaby we talked about. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the puppy dog. This is Gracie. Uh, I know. I said, Mom, I'm just not ready for this. I thought That's I Gracie. Like... Say goodnight, Gracie. She's well, still in this mode. She kind of did we're in gonna, we're puppy, gonna, puppy ways. We're going we're gonna to work on that. Okay. So, goodnight, Gracie. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Thank you, babe. I don't know how you're going to cut that out. You're welcome. Ow. <laughs> oh, you little thing. Oh, you little oh, bitty I know, thing. I know, I know, I know. So I got a cat nap in. Meow. R. <laughs> Meow. Cutting.